I think the issue, uh, I think in my mind, India is quite far away uh, in terms of the infrastructure, in terms of the investment, the appetite to take risks to develop uh, intellectual property on, the, on their own. The, the will of the organizations here, I think, are still far behind when it comes to uh, developing technology. Having said that, where can the contributions come from India in terms of making uh, uh, innovating products? It is the support. OEMs, any OEMs in these six countries or uh, <clears throat> globally are always challenged by one thing, developing better products faster to the market, cheaper to the market. These are the three drivers uh, uh, for every OEM looks at. And where does the India come in? I believe that the companies here can support, influence time to market because, you know, you see that uh, the firms work on two shift basis, they cut down the design cycle time, and that, that, that's a contribution that, uh, that the Indian players can make. Second is about the cost savings. The things that you save, the cost that you are saving can be flowed back in into very, uh, looking at mu multiple uh, uh, alternatives uh, for the design. And, uh, and Indian players can play that type of a role, which is a more supportive role. And, uh, and that's the two contrasting views that I see when it comes to glo global technology. Okay. Well, I, before you uh, respond, uh, I w I'm not going to let you off the hook because I'm sure everybody here wants to know. You're CEO of a thousand person company. Seventy five percent of your employees are here. I'm guessing when you first came to Bangalore, it was a cost play, labor play. <clears throat> now you as the inspirational leader, you want your people to be creative and innovative. Over the last nine years, have you seen an increase in innovation or the generation of IP from your people here or are there, are there more uh, uh, cultural barriers that's preventing that, that level of innovation? Um, <clears throat> Bruce, we are a company of the future, so uh, we are already, you know, we have a people, 100 people in the U.S., 50 people in Italy. These, these people are with a 30 years experience, and uh, we, as a pure engineering solutions company, we have a desire, our ambition is to be the preferred partner of our customers by adding that value, creating the IP for them. So internally within our company, definitely we have seen a significant scope ch increases, both in terms of uh, the product cycles that we support as well as the complexity of the products. And uh, in fact, uh, 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 we have filed three patents in the last, uh, last three years in, along with the customers. And of course, a patent, uh, when, we, when we file, this is uh, customers own the patents. However, our engineers get the recognition. And I'm happy to say out of those three, two patents, are uh, developed by our engineers uh, based in uh, India. Okay. Great. I'm sure everybody wanted to <clears throat> was curious about that. Well, Salim, when you set up operations here with your partner in Pune, what did you decide that they were going to do versus you were going to keep? I mean, that seems to be one of the dividing lines here. Uh, in a product development environment, uh, and for the specific product, uh, there was no holding back. Really, we wanted my one of the goals we talked about very early before, before we launched the team was I wanted the two teams across the, the divide to work as one. And uh, one of the most uh, pleasant surprises I had was about nine months after we had started, the team here surprised me and gave me a presentation talking about how they thought the roadmap for the tool would evolve. Okay. So a couple of things I want to touch back on uh, when you talk about innovation. Uh, and I've heard this through the last two days. There's no question that the talent exists in, 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 in India. Uh, Freescale has filed many patents. We do leading product edge development in our captive centers. So what is the difference between having innovation there versus innovation in the sourcing company? I, I think it's the business model and the mild mindset and a culture issue that says, today, you're evolving from a services-oriented perspective. I think now the next transition and growth area has to be more of a product development perspective. But it takes time. Uh, and I can relate back to my center, it takes time before the team understands 
what the real nature of the task is. It's not strictly an engineering task that says, I see a very deep.